Hello, and welcome to Lesson 2 of my Vanilla Doom editing series. This one is going to be, main. the main focus of this is going to be on 3D mode and using it to texture and change the properties of your sectors. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and load up this lesson map that was included with the RAR file, including this lesson here. Either that or you can go to my last lesson and go ahead and make this level your, for yourself. So the first thing you will notice when you load it up is that your grid settings have changed back to 32. See, now I know that you don't want to go through here and go ahead and have to switch it every single time. So what we'll do is go into Tools, Configurations, go to Defaults, and change your map def open defaults to 8. This grid setting. You can also change what your upper, middle, and lower textures are by default when you create a sector and your ceiling and floor as well as the height of your level. If you want it to be lower or higher. Um, you can also change the brightness too. So from there, you go ahead and come up here to 3D mode tab, click it, and you'll notice um, you can also, you can add a texture filtering to it. You can add uh, you can mess with the fill the view, movement speed, mouse speed. It's all pretty basic. So um, go ahead and hit OK on that. Unless you want to change something, you can. It doesn't really matter. Hit OK, and we are ready to learn about 3D mode. Okay. So the first thing you might want to do is add a 3D mode start. By default, really, it, it'll use like the player starts as a place to go into the level at. But you can add a player a uh, 3D mode start. Say if you want to go across your level and you don't want to walk there you can use this basically drag this over there to look at it so to do this you want to go ahead and hold your control button and press W and if you go into things mode you can see that you went ahead and added a 3D mode start you can drag this anywhere okay so once you do that go ahead and press the W key and we're in 3D mode this is basic 3D mode so what you want to do so we want to go ahead and see these red walls here these are basically blank spots these don't have these are a wall that has no texture basically so what you want to do is you want to click on one with your left mouse button and you'll get this texture browser now go ahead and we can select a simple texture here this brick uh, brick six will work just click on that and you'll see it added it to the wall now going around and clicking on every wall and adding this texture you see it can take some time going around to do that so the real shortcut way to do this is just to copy the texture and paste it on another wall and to do this you want to go ahead and press in your mouse 3 button which is normally your mouse scroll and click on a texture and with that selected you can go to a blank one and right click and it'll add the texture to it and you can do this around the rest of the level if you want now, I'm going to go ahead and add a different texture to this middle one because, you know, there's plenty of brick going around, of this kind of brick anyway. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on it to add another texture, but there's only one texture available now. So what's going on with that? Well, what Doom Builder does is once you use a texture, it puts that in a list of used textures, and when you click on a blank texture, it tries to add what is already what is already being used in the level it's really good for themes and stuff like that which you'll learn in a later lesson um, so what we want to do is just press the tab key and all the rest of the textures will be shown then so we'll go ahead and pick another here's B stone we'll go ahead and select that and that will add that to the middle and go ahead and copy it and paste it all the way around um, now the textures and floor isn't really matching what this brick theme we're kind of going on here so we'll go ahead and change those as well and go ahead and to do that just go ahead and left click one and you'll notice that it's using that same method that the textures are that it only shows the ones that are used so just hit tab again to get out of that and we'll go ahead and scroll down pick a brick texture now okay we'll go ahead and apply that we can copy and paste just like we do with walls and paste that on the floor okay now and we'll go ahead and add it here going up this way and there we go 
we got it pretty much textured out except for the bottom of the stairs which you actually have specific textures you can use for those that look really good on them and those are basically the step textures and to edit to get those just click on the bottom of a step and remember it shows you used press tab and in this bottom part you'll see right here that you can type in what texture you're looking for so the basic one we're going to put and type in is step and once you type that in it'll jump to these textures here and we'll go ahead and go with step five and you'll see that it pretty much figures right to the step down there so I didn't copy that and paste it up all the rest alright now that's pretty simple stuff so basically now we got this level but it's kinda of dark you can't really see anything that well so what we'll go ahead and do is brighten this up a little bit and to do that you just go ahead and hold your control and press your mouse up scroll your mouse up and we'll go ahead and you can get it all the way up to 255 we'll go ahead and put it at 176 and then we'll go ahead and go to the stairs and we can put it all at 176 or we can have it decrease one as it goes along and you see you can get this cool effect of it just kind of fading off you know by looking down the stairs looking up the stairs um, so there's basically how to show you uh, how to mess with the lights and different texturing and stuff like that um, you also notice that when you put these textures in they're not quite fitting with each other you can see there you can actually go up by pressing your G button it'll loosen the gravity up and you'll be able to move and fly around your level as you want but um, so you can see you get up here and you can see that it's not matching very well it matches alright but it's not perfect so if you're a perfectionist just go ahead and put your cursor over a wall and press the A button now you'll notice that these these textures here have just changed to basically con to fit these walls so they don't you can't tell these see they're like seamless now so basically that's an auto align is what it is um, you can also auto align in the y axis say I want to scroll this down oh, about 64 okay now you'll notice it doesn't fit these walls that much I can actually move it up a little bit to prove show you you see how it doesn't fit the walls at all you see how it's completely off and you can tell just bad texturing all around so to fix that hold shift and press A and every single wall around that one wall just fixed itself so it would fit to this one and you can go ahead and switch that back if you just press your R button it resets your textures completely or you can just reset your your X axis or you know Y axis um, now okay we'll go ahead and auto line those again alright now it looks good okay and next weekend I want to show you real quick how you can edit sectors you can change like we can change the stairway to go down instead of up just like this by using these keys here the uh, mouse scroll up and scroll down I'll let you do that to move stuff the floor and stuff like that up and down um, and the last thing I want to show you about 3D mode is uh, the thing editor of it. And what that can do to do this is press your T key, and you'll notice you'll see things like if this was if there was a monster in here, you'd see the monster. Like there's a player one start in here right now, you'll see the player one start. And you can actually edit these things while in 3D mode. Just go ahead and point at it and click. And you'll notice you'll get everything else, all these other monsters and guns and weapons, and you can use this to just easily put stuff in your level and not have to go through and you know search the thing browser. It's just a lot more graphical way of doing things. Um, and then you can put, take you turn your gravity off, and come up here because it's not grabbing it right. Uh, things. See, this is the only problem with using things in 3D mode is sometimes they don't like responding when you click them see there you go I had to go above it to get it um, and you can change this back to a player start if you want or you can change it to any monster or anything pretty much you can get in Doom we'll go ahead and change it back to the player one start 
All right, and that's pretty much covering 3D mode. Uh, texture things, um, mess with our uh, texture walls, mess with things, change heights, um, and different textures, all this other stuff. So go ahead and get out of that by pressing W again, and you'll see the 3D mode start will move whenever you move. It'll show it'll show the 3D start moving and stuff like that. Um, and the last thing I want to show you is if we come up here and we want to test it out you'll notice we get this could not find the engine executable please check your configuration so what we gotta do is come in here go to tools configurations and we'll go ahead and go to testing and from here you see it's got an engine configured but it doesn't really have a path so it doesn't really have an engine configured in the uh, the engine here. So we'll go ahead and go to browse and locate uh, an engine. You can be any engine. I pretty much use ZDoom because ZDoom seems to be really, really stable compared to a lot of other engines when it comes down to it. So go ahead and press, go to ZDoom, print open, and hit OK. And I'm good. Go ahead and test, do test map again. But due to the technology of this, this uh, recording system I'm using, it would have a very low frame rate. So I'm going to go ahead and go into a different program to record my in-game. So uh, give me just a minute. All right, here we are. Okay, we're in the level that we just textured and fixed up. Okay, you'll see that everything is just as we've seen it in 3D mode. So that really speeds things up when using 3D mode to texture and basically look at how your level is going to look. Um, you see your stairs are all fixed up and everything. So that's pretty much the end of this lesson. Um, I'll be looking forward to doing the next lesson which is going to be on action specials and uh, it's basically going to show you how to use lifts, stores, and etc. to make your level just have a lot more gameplay elements to it and just make it real fun for players. So, that's it.